Welcome to the desert. This is the Sonora Desert. We're outside of Tucson, Arizona in Saguaro National Park. And Saguaro National Park is named for these cacti right here. Those are called Saguaro cacti, the ones with the big arms. And this is the only desert on earth where they grow. Other deserts around the world look very differently as you find different kinds of plants and animals that colonize the particular environment. But this is my personal favorite desert, the Sonora Desert, because of these cacti. Deserts are areas with very little rainfall. Often they are hot and dry, but not always. Antarctica is considered a desert because it does not get much precipitation. Much of the western United States is considered either semi-arid or desert, depending on how much rain falls and also when the rain falls. Deserts often get all their rain during a few short periods of time and are dry for the remainder of the year. The plants and animals that survive in the desert have evolved ways to live on very little water. That makes desert communities very special and unique. What always amazes me when I travel there is how diverse desert environments are. Look at how different the Chihuahua Desert in Texas is compared to the Sonora Desert in Arizona. They are each home to very different kinds of plants and animals, even though both are warm deserts where plants have to adapt to both find water and to keep from drying out. Root systems are often complex designed to pull water from the ground quickly as soon as rain falls and to look for water deep in the ground around them, wherever it can be found. Leaves are often thick and plants are coated with waxy material to keep water inside where it is needed. Cold-blooded animals like snakes and lizards can do quite well in a warm desert. Because it is so dry, Deserts that are extremely hot during the day can cool off very quickly at night. That can help some animals to survive there. Some creatures are quiet during the intense heat of the day and are more active in the evening or at night when temperatures are cooler. All told, deserts cover about 20% of the Earth's surface. How will climate change affect deserts? Climate change tends to make dry areas even drier, since warm temperatures cause even more evaporation. The plants and animals in the desert are adapted to the dry environment there. However, rapid changes to temperature and rainfall patterns can make it hard for them. Many deserts are expanding including the desert in the American Southwest. That means other ecosystems on the edge of deserts are becoming smaller as the desert gets larger. Forests on the edge of expanding deserts tend to dry out. One spark and all that dry wood catches fire. Wildfires are a huge problem in the American Southwest for that very reason. In addition to destroying entire forests and the homes of many animals that live there, including people, the fires put huge amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, causing even more climate change. And the forests which are affected can take decades to regrow, if they regrow at all. Over time, climate change tends to make climate change worse. Scientists call this a feedback loop. People living in the desert are also affected as the area gets drier and drier. The over 56 million people who call the American Southwest home need water to drink. Much of the region gets its water from the Colorado River. So much of that river is now diverted as drinking water to cities like Los Angeles. Phoenix, and Tucson, that the river no longer reaches the sea and it is still not enough water for the people 
and farms in the area. All the water upstream gets diverted for use on farms and for drinking water. Can you imagine how this affects the fish in the river? What about the plants and animals in the sea near the mouth of the river? Could it affect them as well? Of course. Deserts are dry, often warm areas of the planet, that get drier and warmer as the climate changes. They are fragile and sensitive ecosystems, and this change affects all that live there, including people.